things no one tells you about college parties. I want you all to be safe. And these are things that people I've known have learned the hard way. So listen up. You need to never wear white shoes. That is something that nobody tells you until you get to college and ruin a pair of perfectly good white shoes. It's really freaking muddy. If you ever get any sort of beverage in a cup at a party, your hand better be over it like this at all times. Okay. And if you lose your drink, just get a new one. Just get a new one. Never pick up a beverage once it's been put down somewhere. Okay. And the golden rule is always make sure your friends get home safe. Truth about college that somebody's got to tell you. If you don't over communicate with your roommate, there will be problems, issues. Before you do most things, just ask. If you're having someone in the room, ask. You should never sign up for lectures before nine in the morning. Trust me on that one. You will never want to get up. Literally everyone is way nicer than you think if you try to start a conversation. Don't be nervous about making friends. And if you don't know what to talk about, just ask about their major. You may start eating like two meals a day instead of three. It's honestly a very normal thing that happens. And then sometimes you binge at like two in the morning. It all evens out. Let me know if you want more in the comments. This is the sad truth about relationships. Most people will stay in relationships even after they're hurt. Even if they acknowledge that they might not be with this person forever. Sometimes you still stick around because you just hope it'll get better, but mostly you just don't want to say bye to that person and lose what you have. So instead, people will stay with people that don't benefit them anymore, no matter how much it hurts. These are some reasons why I think it would be okay to drop somebody. It can be really hard to drop somebody that you know you need to not have in your life anymore, but I'm gonna tell you some reasons why I think it would be worth it. Number one, if they constantly disrespect you and how you feel. If you've told them multiple times, I don't like it when you do this, or it hurts my feelings when you do this, and they continue to do it over and over again, and this goes for friends and dating, I would drop that person. Because if they don't change their behavior now, they probably won't ever. Number two is if you just outgrew them. This is not always something that has to be super dramatic when you drop them. Sometimes you literally just don't vibe with someone anymore or you've worked on yourself so much that you don't really want to go back to someone that brings you back to a past version of yourself in that case just slowly distance from them it's totally fine and it's normal to outgrow people they're not always meant to be in your life forever things about college that are hard but completely normal i've been seeing so many people on my for you page like crying considering dropping out because of how their college experience is going so i'm gonna tell you things that we have all cried over in college. Number one, crying because you miss your family is extremely normal. I think everyone does it. Everyone gets homesick and it's just completely natural. Number two, crying because you haven't met your group of friends yet. Meeting friends in college is like a part-time job, okay? You gotta take it seriously and it takes a while sometimes. People don't always just become best friends with their roommate and sometimes you don't find your group right away. It's sad, but it's super normal. And classes being hard, that's something we all know. We just don't like to talk about it. Freshman classes are so annoying, so hard. Especially if you're taking calc or a writing class. Go easy on yourself. Try it out. We all have. It's actually really hard. But I promise everyone goes through it. If you're someone who hangs out with people that you know low-key aren't that good for you, this is for you. Why are you putting yourself through that? You shouldn't be spending your time with people who make you feel worse. You deserve people who make you feel happy and excited and hype you up. So why would you settle for somebody who puts you down, says like passive aggressive comments, and tries to control you? It is better to spend time alone than to spend time with people who aren't looking out for you. This video is for the people who find themselves catching feelings for literally everyone and everything. If you catch feelings easily, it's probably because you see someone and then imagine what you two would be like together. But the truth is, you don't know that person. You don't know how they're gonna treat you. You have to let people prove who they are to you instead of imagining what it could be like. Because it might be great in your head, but it doesn't mean that's their real personality. And if you don't keep your standards high and wait for someone to prove themselves to you, you're gonna be disappointed, trust me. These are things that I think no one should be able to have a say on. Because a lot of people just think they can put their opinions wherever they want, but it's not always necessary. Number one, how much makeup you wear. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Makeup is art. And if it boosts your confidence, it doesn't matter if you're wearing 20 products or two products. Number two, what you wear. What are we, 1800s? Number three, whether you shave or not. It's your body. Take care of it however you feel like. I don't understand why we're being shamed for something that is natural. Thank you very much.